Hi, I'm Nathan Gorski, and I'm the instructor for the 2D Python game design course. I'm currently an undergraduate at the University of Minnesota, where I study computer science in the honors program. I've also been making 2D games since I was about nine years old. I've been working with children for about three years. Um, I, I got my start working at a local YMCA just after high school, and I found this experience to be extremely enjoyable and rewarding. This inspired me to work at several other camps, as well as an elementary school in the Twin Cities where I go to college. I, I really like working with young children. I, I find that uh, they have a really unique perspective of the world, and it really brings light to my day to see the world through this perspective once again. I think a good K-12 STEAM education is essential for our developing economy. A lot of the new occupations which arise these days are STEAM related, and giving children that great foundation in STEAM is a great way to jumpstart our next generation of future leaders. This course focuses on teaching 2D game design using Pygame, which is a game development library for Python. What makes this different from software like Scratch or Unity is that the games are written entirely in code, and students are responsible for all components of their game, as well as their interactions, rather than having a lot of this being done for them by a program. This more closely resembles a professional software development environment. Game design has a lot of different components, and in terms of concrete skills that you need, this course will cover all of the essentials. This includes basics of Pygame, like putting graphics on the screen, looking for inputs and animation, uh, game design theory, like how to properly lay out our code, some UI design, such as creating menus and things like saving and loading, um, laying out our own levels and worlds, and even making our own art. But what I think is the more important takeaway of this class is that students will learn a fun way to practice coding. Um, for me, game design is when coding really started to be fun, and I really learned how to code by working on 2D games. Then, when it became time for me to start college and a coding internship, I found that a lot of the skills that I learned making games transferred over very smoothly. This course has three levels for a total of 20 classes. After the final class, students should have all of the information that they need in order to create basically any 2D game that they want. At that point, all they need is problem-solving skills and creativity. Each class will begin with some direct teaching, as well as some demos that the students can follow along with. After that, we'll break off and students will work together on various challenges and activities. I'll be around in order to help guide them through these activities and to show them what to do next once they finish them. The pacing of the class is somewhat fluid and is adapted to the speed of both the individuals as well as the class as a whole. The class is designed so that more experienced programmers can bite off more ambitious projects, whereas less experienced programmers can stick to the basics. I would recommend this course for any student who's passionate about both programming and video games, and who has a big imagination. Game design, in my experience, is a great way to channel all three of these passions and make a concrete product. As a prerequisite for this course, students are expected to understand Python basics. While they don't need to be an expert, at a minimum, students should understand variables, functions, if-else statements, and loops. This class focuses less on teaching Python specifically and more on teaching an application of Python, and as a result, students should be somewhat familiar with the Python language. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you in class.